My name is uh, Raphael Mettler. I'm from Switzerland. I'm a brewer in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. And I have a brewery uh, on the Jura mountain, which is between uh, Geneva and Basel. The brewery is called Brasserie Trois Dames. It's um, in honor of the three dames, uh, the three ladies uh, I have. Uh, I have a, a, daughter, a daughter which is 10 years old, another one 14 years old, and my wife. The brewery is, um, is located in Sainte Croix. We are up uh, 4,000 uh, meters above uh, sea level. It's a smaller town, about four to 5,000 uh, inhabitants. Uh, but we are not so far away because Switzerland is small, so we are maybe half an hour from Lausanne. We are um, uh, one hour from Geneva and we are just at the border with France. The region is uh, known from the mechanical industry and uh, watchmaking also in this area. There is no tradition of, of, uh, of beer, there has never been a brewery in, the, in this town. The closest brewery uh, was uh, in Orb and this has closed, closed maybe 30 years ago. So it was a bit surprising to the people when I started a brewery there. But uh, in the same time, as we are uh, um, above, we are like 4,000 feet high, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the, there is not, it's not a wine, wine country. But when you go down the hill and you are between uh, there and Lausanne, that's a big uh, wine country. For the last uh, 50 years, there was mainly bigger breweries brewing uh, lager type beers and uh, maybe some Weizen and some, um, some Alt beers. And since uh, 10 years, uh, we can see a, a development of uh, smaller breweries, which have had uh, influence of uh, Belgium and uh, England, and uh, now also North American uh, type of uh, brewing. When I started uh, with the new brewery, maybe five, six years ago, I uh, proposed to the general public uh, in Switzerland uh, you know, IPAs, uh, double IPAs, uh, uh, India brown ales, and these are all styles uh, which were not common at all in Switzerland. Some people were surprised and some others were really happy because that's the kind of beer they have been drinking other, uh, in other places uh, uh, during their travels. And uh, also in Switzerland, there are a lot of people uh, living from, uh, from other countries. They come from other countries, like you know, English people or Americans or people from Asia. And these kind of people, they, they were actually looking for the, the specialty beers. I wanted to create also something which uh, re is related to Switzerland. Where I live uh, in Switzerland, there are, it's, it's, a lot, it's a big wine region. We, uh, there, we, there, are, there are a lot of um, white wine and, uh, you know, we eat a lot of fondue in Switzerland and raclette and uh, that's, uh, the, the pairing of this food is, uh, goes well with, uh, with dry, um, sour-like uh, white wine. It's called chasla. And um, I've developed uh, since uh, three years a, a beer together with a winemaker and I'm using uh, grapes uh, in this beer. So the name of the grape uh, beer is uh, L'Amoureuse, it's the, the woman in love. I actually uh, received the, the, the grape juice, it's a Pinot Noir grape juice. I've, I've used it also with Chasla, so I did a white version and a red version. And I'm receiving the, the grapes at uh, harvest time. And uh, then I mix it with a fermenting beer and I let it uh, age together. Saint Nitouche, in, 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 in French Saint Nitouche is a, is a lady you think you, uh, she's, uh, she, the, the, her behavior is different than what she is really. The recipe is more kind of an IP, a double IPA, it's a strong IPA, 9% alcohol with lots of hops, lots of bitterness, and then aged in uh, wine wood barrels. And of course, after a few months um, in these wood barrels, the, the sourness is taking over, and the result is what you can taste here. One beer I was very uh, successful with is uh, uh, the Espresso Stout. It's a beer I'm blending with uh, coffee. I'm working with a coffee company in Switzerland and they uh, actually prepare the coffee for me. And uh, I um, brew a kind of a, 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 an imperial stout, so 7, 75% alcohol. And then I, I, I mix the coffee at the, at the lagering time. I've been creating also an old brune. It's a, it's a beer inspired by uh, Flanders old brune, but it's made with um, fermented apricots. The result of it is very close to an old brune, but it's, it's, it's made a, in a different way, using uh, Swiss fruits and blending that with a uh, malted beer. 
it's like an apricot wine. You have to imagine that the apricot, it's not, I'm not using fresh apricots. The apricots I'm using are apricots which have, are maybe two or three years old. And um, I have uh, friends uh, in Valais, the area where the apricots are grown in Switzerland. They use that uh, for distilling apricots and they have a uh, distilled uh, um, eau de vie, apricot eau de vie, eau de vie. And to do that, sometimes it, they, they, they like to use um, apricots which have fermented for a longer time. And I've discovered that and I really like the taste. There is a lot of wild yeast there inside. Uh, there is Brettanomyces, there is Lactobacilli, there is all kinds of uh, wild stuff. And um, this has worked really well with that blend, blending it with a dark uh, uh, beer with uh, using a lot of um, roasted, uh, roasted barley, roasted malt. All the labels have, have women and they usually are women uh, who are uh, active, you know, one is uh, she's skiing, the other one is uh, uh, biking, and uh, one is dancing. Because before brewing, I was uh, active in the um, in the distribution of uh, um, uh, sport, sports for sporting equipment. I was selling skateboards, snowboard, and clothing in Switzerland. And I have organized a few times skateboard contests and important contests there in Switzerland. And uh, I was already uh, always a bit uh, surprised that sometimes the girls they came to to uh, to watch the boys skateboards, and I said uh, it's it's uh, take a skateboard and skateboard also you know, and that's why a little bit uh, I like to uh, on the label to uh, um, that we see the the girls also uh, being active. Right now we are brewing fourteen to fifteen hundred uh, hectoliters a year. And out of that is maybe 80% is bottles and the rest is kegs. And we do maybe 10% export and the rest is sold in Switzerland, mainly in the French speaking part and a little bit in the towns of the Swiss German part. I'm pretty happy with the situation right now. Before I had a company uh, with maybe uh, 10 to 12 employees. And um, once you have a certain size, then you are more an organizer than uh, someone being in the production and producing something. So I want to stay a little bit involved in the brewing. So that's why I, I prefer maybe uh, looking for a size of uh, three to four people instead of more, because if you are more, then you are more involved in sales and organization and less in the, in, in the workshop.